Porcupine's Pajama Party. By Terry Webb Harshman and illustrated by Doug Cushman. <laughs> Cush. Alright, let's get started. Uh, I don't know who Jenna Rollins is, but I have your book. This is a weekly reader book. Uh, I remember weekly reader was a thing when I was in elementary school. It was like a magazine or newspaper thing for kids, and it came out weekly. My mom actually bought me from the weekly reader a bunch of these books from a series about like the world where there's like this mouse named Christopher who's like learning about all the things. I remember there was one about dinosaurs. I remember there was one about weather. Um, it, it was good stuff. I can't for the life of me remember what the series is called. <laughs> Uh, anyhow, it was, it's, um, an I Can Read book, too. And it is to Anna Lee Harrison with love, and it is for Kim the Owl. Uh, I guess furry, furries existed before I was born, because this book came out in, what year did this book come out in? I was born in 91. I don't know what year this fucking book came out in. Uh, so we got the table of contents here. We, we can look forward to the invitations, baking cookies, my favorite chapter, monster bat, and the scariest thing. Oh, there appears to be a monster bat right here coming out of the TV. I wonder if that's a spoiler. If so, it shouldn't be in the table of contents, mind you. That was, that was dumb. But so, let me just start by skipping a page, bitching about spoilers, and here I go already. The Invitation. Porcupine was eating lunch. He put peanut butter on celery sticks. I love peanut butter boats with honey sandwiches, he said. Honey sandwiches. Oh man, that sounds tasty as fuck, dude. There's only one thing wrong. I am lonely. Suddenly, Porcupine had a wonderful idea. I will invite Owl and Otter to a pajama party. That's a great idea, dude. Fucking invite your friends over. Have some fun. He's still got his fucking peanut butter right next to him, like... He wrote a note to Otter and a note to Owl. The notes said, I'm having a pajama party tonight. Let me know if you can come. Porcupine. Like, what if neither of them had decided that they could come? Like, what if they were both fucking busy, dude? Like, the other one would show up and be like, I thought you said you were having a party. And you're gonna be like, oh, it's just you and me here tonight. And then they would be like, no homo, bro. I love you and all, but this isn't really what I signed up for, G. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. These are little kids. Like, they don't fucking do gay. Porcupine hu hurried to Otter's house. He put the note in Otter's mailbox. He ran over the hill to Owl's tree. He dropped the note through Owl's letter slot. Then Porcupine hurried home. He fixed a cup of peppermint tea. That's my favorite fucking kind of tea. This dude is like on point. He's got the peanut butter snacks. He's got the honey sandwiches. He's got the tea. This nigga knows what's up. They will be calling any minute. I will sip my tea while I wait. Porcupine sipped his tea and waited. He stared at the telephone. My cup is empty, and nobody has called. Maybe Otter did not look in his mailbox. Maybe Owl is always away this weekend. See, I, I told you. I knew it. He's all, like, paranoid as shit. His homies aren't going to call him. Porcupine was getting worried. I'd fucking be too, man. 
Suddenly, the telephone rang. This is Owl, said a voice. Owl who? asked Porcupine. The owl you invited to a pajama party, said Owl. Oh, giggled Porcupine. That owl. Please come. Otter is invited too. I would love to come, said Owl. Except... Except what? asked Porcupine. I want to watch a scary movie on television tonight, said Owl. Like... Fucking just watch the movie at Otter's house. He said he's having a party, G. Like, can't go over there and ask him, hey, can I watch your TV? Like, come on, man. We can watch it here. Oh, fucking problem solved, man. <laughs> I'll stop. I'll stop. I promise. We can watch it here, said Porcupine. It will be more fun getting scared together. Not sure I agree with that sentiment, bro. Maybe. Maybe. Like, if you have the right amount of popcorn, you're just fucking getting scared together. I mean, yeah, actually, no. I take back what I said. Fucking getting scared together is a lot more fun than getting scared alone. Getting scared alone, you're, like, fucking paranoid and shit. Where you, like, the chicken mama or whatever, the statue that sparked the Momo stupid shit meme. Like, if that's coming after you, like, you want to be around friends. Oh, thought Owl. The Owl thought about being alone and scared. I will be happy to come to your pajama party, he said. Smart thinking, caveman. What is the name of the movie? asked Porcupine. Monster Bat, said Owl. Porcupine shivered. Come before it gets dark, he said. I will, said Owl. Goodbye! Dude, you, know, you got the fucking blender out and fucking everything. Look at this guy. He's got the munchies as hell, man. He's got hell of munchies. The phone rang again. It was Otter. I want to come to your pajama party, said Otter. But, but what? asked Porcupine. I'm trying a new cookie recipe tonight, said Otter. We can bake your cookies here, said Porcupine. Owl is coming too. Goody, said Otter. I will be there. Cross your toes, asked Porcupine. And squeeze my nose, promised Otter. I can feel it in my jellies. Come before dark, said Porcupine. Okay, said Otter. See you later. Chapter 2. Baking Cookies Hell yeah, I told you guys this is my favorite part. Otter opened his recipe box and pulled out a card. This recipe has been handed down from Otter to Otter, he said. So it must be yummy. I will measure the flour, said Porcupine. I will open the chocolatey bits, said Owl, and I will stir, said Otter. They mixed everything together. Let's sample the dough, said Owl. Everyone took a huge bite. I'm oh, sorry, I lied. It says big bite. I want to take a huge bite. That's the only reason I said that. One track mine, dude. Fucking cookie dough. We forgot the vanilla, said Otter. He stirred some in. They gobbled more of the dough. Oh, now they're gobbling. Holy shit, man. Much tastier, said Porcupine. Quite good, said Owl. Otter pulled a small bottle out of his pocket. What is that? asked Porcupine. The Otter family secret, Otter said proudly. I bet it is powdered fishtails, said Owl. Powdered fishtails. Mmm. Give me some of that. Otter added a pinch of pow the powder. He stirred and tasted. Mmm, perfect. Owl tried some. Delicious, he said. Porcupine sniffed the bowl. He thought about the powdered fishtails. Afraid? asked Owl. Porcupine took a bite. Stupendous, he shouted. Stupendous. That's a word I haven't heard in a long time. I'm going to start saying that now. Fucking stupendous. That's fucking awesome. They tasted and sampled, they nibbled and gobbled. Porcupine got a cookie sheet. 
I will do the first row, said Otter. He plopped down three cookies. It was Porcupine's turn. He dug the spoon into the bowl. He scraped and scraped. My spoon is empty. I think I missed something. No. He scraped and scraped. My spoon is empty, he said. You did not dig deep enough, said Owl. Porcupine dug to the bottom of the bowl. There was a hollow clickety-clack sound. The dough is gone, shouted Owl. Pooey, cried Otter. I do not want a recipe that only makes three cookies. He threw the recipe into the trash. Porcupine rubbed his tummy. I'm not really in the mood for cookies, he said. I guess one is enough for me, said Otter. Me too, agreed Owl. I am on a diet. Porcupine plopped the cookies into the oven. Popped the cookies into the oven. Holy shit, dude. He threw away his fucking recipe? Bruh. Simple solution. I can't believe you didn't figure this shit out. All you gotta do is multiply the ingredients until you have the right amount of batches for the amount of cookies you want. It's that simple. Like, fucking, I'm sorry that it only made three. But you times that by two, it's six. You times that by three, it's nine. You times that by four, it's twelve. You fucking, not, not that big a deal, Otter. Learn how to math. Monster Bat. It was time for the movie. Monster Bat flew into the sheriff's bedroom. Slowly, he crept into the sheriff's bed. His mouth opened wide and showed long, pointed teeth. He was ready to bite. Fucking makes me want to watch Nightmind, man. Look at those fucking kids. They're so scared. Oh, my God. What's going to happen? Guess what, blurted Otter. Owl jumped. Porcupine screamed. What is it? snapped Owl. Calm down, Owl. Jesus. I think I have to go to the bathroom, said Otter. What do you mean you think? said Owl. He means he thinks, dude. Chill. Don't you know for sure? Calm down, man. Like, jump pee. God. Yes, said Otter. I know for sure that I have to go. Does anyone else? Not me, said Porcupine. Me neither, said Owl. Otter lowered his head. I think I am afraid to go by myself. Monsters get you when you are alone. Oh, poor dude. Look at this guy. I was like so pissed off about dude does just wants some company going to the bathroom like hashtag no homo there you go thinking again said owl besides monsters are not real don't worry said porcupine i will go with you oh man look at porcupine he's being a bro owl's still sitting here fucking just livid dude Owl heard them run down the hall. Then, he could not hear anything. He was alone. What is taking them so long? wondered Owl. I do not like being alone. Yeah, that was why you fucking said you wanted to come over to watch the movie, bro. Outside, a frog croaked. The wind howled. The stoner troped. Wait for me, shouted Owl. Monsters get you when you are alone. Look at this guy. He's like more scared than I was when I fucking started reading creepypastas before I realized how bullshit they were. He ran to the bathroom. Hurry up, you guys. We don't want to miss the movie. We don't, asked Otter. No, you don't, said Owl. They watched the rest of the movie. Then it was time for bed. Can I sleep in the middle? asked Otter. I am the youngest. I should sleep in the middle, said Owl. I am the smallest. Those are good reasons, said Porcupine, but I will sleep in the middle. You are not the youngest, said Otter, or the smallest, said Owl. 
No, said Porcupine, but I have three good reasons, and it is my house, my pajama party, and my bed. Dude, Porcupine, chill, man. Like, what is with these kids? Why are they so fucking angry all the time? They got issues, man. They need to smoke some weed. That's a joke, by the way. Don't fucking smoke weed if you're underage. Like, that's not safe. Like, your brain's still developing until you're, like, 25, dude. That's just sound advice. Um, but, like, jokingly, these kids need to smoke some weed. They are way too fucking tense. Those are good reasons, agreed Otter and Owl. Everyone climbed into bed. The scariest thing. Porcupine, said Otter, what's the scariest thing you can think of? A big hairy beast that eats porcupines, said Porcupine. Sometimes I see it in my closet. Otter looked at Owl. Owl, he said, what's the scariest thing you can think of? Dude, why are you doing this right before fucking going to sleep, dude? Seriously? A giant black creature that eats owls, said Owl. Sometimes it taps on my window. Porcupine and Owl looked at Otter. What is your scariest thing, they asked. A slithery green monster that eats otters, he replied. Sometimes I hear it under my bed. It's a good thing you're not at home, Otter. The room looked very spooky. Suddenly, Porcupine screamed, Otter! Owl! Help! The beast that eats porcupines is in the closet! Owl turned on the light. He went to the closet and picked something up. Look, Porcupine, he said. Your hairy old beast is just some hairy old blankets. Dude, look at him. He's so pissed still. Like, these kids need to go to sleep already. They are fucking cranky. Porcupine sat up. Blankets sure can look mean in the dark, he said. Owl turned off the light and got into bed. Suddenly, he heard something. Tap, scree, tap, tap. Otter, Porcupine, save me, he cried. The creature that eats owls is out the window and his glowing eyes his glowing eyes dudes like fucking red as shit dude smokes Halloween Otter ran to the window don't worry owl it is only a branch scraping against the glass the glowing eyes you saw are only fireflies owl looked at the window seriously like how situational, like, you know, I can understand, like, kids see shit, like, outside their window when they're young and scared, I did the same thing, but, like, fucking, it's, it always seems like the universe is coming to get these kids when it comes to the, this trope in TV and video games and movies, like, the little kids who are scared of the dark and scared of the shit that's hiding in the dark, it seems like there's always something outside or in their closet, or under their bed, that is legitimately bugging the shit out of them, and they need to explain to them by their parents fucking 20 times that the thing that they're worried about is not a real thing, and then fucking companies like Disney gotta go and fucking scare the crap out of them by making them think the monsters are real in this cutesy film about two buddies, like, th th that shit's traumatizing when you're a little kid. You seen the Calvin and Hobbes strip where they where like Calvin and Hobbes are talking to the monster under the bed? Or maybe you've seen that meme picture. That meme picture where chick's like trying to decide whether or not she's warm enough or cold enough with a blanket. And so she's like take, kicking her blanket off of her and kicking her blanket onto her. And then the monster like reaches up from under the bed. It's fucking creepy, dude. No one wants to think about that shit. Not even like as an adult. Like, yeah, we know it's not real, but fucking damn, dude. And they're thinking about this right before bed while they're already fucking tired and cranky. Like, holy shit, man. Fireflies look like monster eyes in the dark, he said. Tell that to the Animal Crossing dudes. 
Otter climbed into bed. Everything was quiet. And then, Porcupine, Owl, help me! Screamed Otter. The green slithery monster is under the bed. I hear its lips smacking. Because he's got the munchies, dude. Porcupine flipped on the light and looked under the bed. You can relax, Otter, he said. Finally, someone's taking my advice. The green monster is not slithery or green. It is tiny and furry with big ears. Otter peeped under the bed. There was a little mouse eating a crust of bread. A crust of bread. Personally, I would have put bread stick, you know, but I'm not like an author or anything. Fucking mice got the munchies too. This monster sounds more like a monster in this um, this mouse sounds more like a moose in the dark, said Otter. Everyone burst out laughing. They felt very silly. Porcupine turned off the light. Imagine being afraid of blankets, he laughed. Or little fireflies, hooted Owl. Or, giggled Otter, munching mouse lips. They laughed even harder. I guess that's the end. I hope you guys have enjoyed the story. I'm a stone philosopher, and I am stoned. Take care.